Oh, welcome back to room 42. We're continuing where we left off of, um, falling for traps. That's just basically it, so let's get back. Oh, no, I didn't want to watch this again. I, I did not skip it. That, the escape button. Left mouse button to click and, uh, restore. Um, yes. No falling for the traps. They're not even from Thailand, but they're still traps. Okay. So let's see. I talked to the trap. Devil and trap! A lot. Have you met the others yet? Um, no. I was gonna talk to the doctor. Um... Well, it would be very rude of me to ask, what do you know, instead of, you know, asking, you know, introductions. First, introductions. Who are you? Eek! So his name is Eek? Oh, oh. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Is he mute? I, I don't even know what, what to, uh, hopefully there's a story behind why he just is like that. It's like, you're our top doctor in the facility, is this guy! Ah! Eek! Let's just fucking move on. I, I, that was just fucking weird. The girl who tried to save me, who are you? Hi, I'm Karina. Karina Acker. Can't you remember anything at all? It doesn't matter, it's good to know you're okay. Wow! You like to flirt with people that are unconscious, do ya? What do you know? I don't know anything! It's a great life story? Oh, okay. Anything else you'd like to add? Wow! I love what's going. You got the eek and the girl that says, I don't know anything. Okay, you don't know anything, that's great. You're not even blonde. Wow! Who are you? Welcome to Montague Hospital. Wow, okay, someone who talks. My name is Maria. Uh, may I assist you in anything? Sure. I'm in charge of receiving and appointing new patients here at Montague. A dull job, but not the worst either. I'm fairly new here. Okay. Not like all that matters much now. Get, yep. Okay, what the fuck is with the doctor be, like to, to my left, huh? I just hope... I, I didn't even read that in time. Yes. Explain things, but... Please, not too long. I don't need an entire entire life story. Aside from what you've already heard, not much, really. I'm just a receptionist on a busy day. A very busy day, mind you. People have been calling from all over the county with anemia, um, anemia and symptoms like fatigue and dizziness. It's pretty unusual, to say the least. I also heard some rumors about a strange fog in some suburbs. Some superstitious folks say it's from the devil or something. Can you believe it? This isn't a fucking M. Night Shyamalan fucking movie, I hope, so, I mean... How it's related to the whole disaster, I'm not sure. I assure you, what Ormond said about them, it's ten times worse. I saw with my own eyes, it was right in front of me. They they tore Nikki's neck apart. That's not ten times worse, that's what I was actually expecting. I'll never forget the sound of her screaming. They're not human, even if their appearance is the same. It's like they were possessed by something. When you say ten times worse, I was expecting, like, they to tore open their throat their neck, and then piss down it, shit down it, and then eat them by, by like, eating their balls first, and then the intestines. I don't know, some kind of fucking, like, three girls fucking chocolate pudding fucking porn. I, I, let's just go with that. I, I don't fucking even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. I'm a little energetic, which means for more spontaneousness and saying stupid shit on the fly. I, I, I don't know. I wonder how is my Coco doing on your fucking cat? The lonely receptionist, nurse lady, single cat. You know, it's, the, it's that grocery store, you know, the, the single lone cat lady aisle. It has the wine in it and the cat fucking appliances all in one aisle. I guess that's her. Okay, I'm, I'm done talking with everyone. I'm, I'm done talking with everyone. Let me know if you need anything else. I do. How do I progress the story? Because I don't want to talk to this, this douche. The, the, you know, the, the cop douche. The, I got a gun, I rule the place. Mm. Brr, 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 brr. Huh? You need some Cheetos, fatty? Who are you? Well, boy, I'm the hope of getting your asses out of your life. Watchman John Merritt, your service. 
can't even tell the mess out there, pure madness. I've never seen anything like that before, but I've seen a lot out there. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever comes from this, I don't think I'm getting back to work anytime soon. That much I can assure you. Maybe I should take a vacation to visit my mama at the border. And hate you for a change of peace for sure. Well, your mama's boy too. Nice to meet you. What's with the fucking pleasantries? Fuck off. Sorry about him. Earlier, don't cause too much trouble and we'll get along just fine. It took. Yeah, don't point a gun to my fucking face and there won't be a fucking problem, fucking bitch. Jesus. Bioterrorism, I tell you. Maybe conspiring with the government. Oh my god. These bastards would do anything for power, no matter the causes. You need a tinfoil hat while we're at it. Jesus Christ, the fuck. Uh, puns and uh, these accidents just so happen to. Oh god, you and your conspiracy theories. Let me guess, it's all because of Umbrella Corporation, right? Try to not distract me, boy. We never know when the. If. Break it! We need a new toilet paper. Regret if you don't catch my drift. If you want. But what? When you catch my drift? Who is there? What do you, what? What do you mean, who is there? Someone on a radio? No one else heard that? What, what, what was that? What, 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 what was that? Hello? Or was what? All is lost. All my work it was for nothing. Oh, you're talking now. What did you see, pal? <laughs> There's no hope. We're all going to die. Oh, liars, 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 liars. Hey, hey, give me back, man. You were just some baby bear, but it could make it work. You just snap up a sudden. Mm. Move. Was this guy Otacon? I said move aside, you defective lab rat. I can't say I'll have work to do. Whoa, relax, man. Take a break. Get to see your name. Move it there. Haha! -ha. You think you're big with your uniform and all that, but in fact you're nothing more than a girl in a cage. <laughs> you're not sophisticated enough for me. <laughs> I've been calling a pig a rat a gorilla today. I should have young kid paid enough for this shit. Get out of here. We have to have the respective voices. I want to see it again. Me, me, me. I don't know. Not the nerd who's threatening the guy who's like strokes his ego with a gun. Easy, gentlemen. Maybe we should all. No. Oh, oh what the? What? What? Wait. What do you do? Oh, that dickhead stabbing this something. Why does he have a syringe under his coat? I told you to move aside. I had no choice. Hey, you dope, are you out of your mind? I'll let you know what you just did is illegal. I don't think legalities really are a big concern in this time. Sure, no, you're right. Yeah, it's just a scratch. Uh, a syringe and scratches aren't, or don't. Uh, what was in it? This is. AIDS! AIDS! No fucking shit, it's a syringe! You better not have it stung me with that. This is my syringe of AIDS! This is Dr. Eberhart. I'm keeping your identification on hand. I'll be reporting to police as soon as I can with a disgusted face. What the hell did you inject me? Man, ejected you that fucking fast? I understand that you're upset, but the answer to violence isn't more violence. Uh, I disagree with you. Trap. Maybe you should toss him outside to die. Now, Dr. Lewis, please tell us the contents of that syringe. Sodium thiopental. Oh. oh my god, John, wake up! Oh no, he collapsed. It's useless. Mm. Following the injection, the drug rapidly attacks the brain and causes a state of complete unconsciousness. Okay, does it make him brain damaged? How could you, you monster? I don't need to explain myself to your likes until any of you are not to choose me. I'm leaving now. Mm. I don't think so. What are you doing? I'm ready to take these handcuffs and help me. Okay. I, I, has it really come down to this? I'm so sad in humanity. We don't have a choice. We can't risk open to open that door no matter what. And why the fuck is the doctor so fucking obsessed with work in a time of crisis? Fools, you're going to die whether the door opens or not. Like, shut, the, shut the fuck up. Let's get let's get this done before he tries anything else. You know who, who knows how many more fucking 
goddamn syringes with AIDS he has. Oh, he's handcuffed to the bed. <laughs> he's just sort of pacing it. <laughs> it's, it's cold and dark in here. What? Who sang this? What do you mean it's cold and dark in here? In the toilet? Someone in the toilet? Someone in there? Someone in my head? It's too late! There's no way out! When you see his mouth, like, untie me! Can you hear me, lower lives? <laughs> untie me now! Shut up for a second. Jesus Christ. He's going to wake up soon, and when he does, he'll kill us all! Destroy us all! What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about me, huh? Of course you don't know. That brute over there, he's going to turn into one of them once the drug wears off. Wait, what? what, what, what? Ha, you imbeciles are clueless! <laughs> now release me at once, you don't have a right to have me restrained like this. Mm. Damn, the smugness. He's being too loud, I agree, and so am I. Shut up, this is your last fucking warning, bitch. Ha, <laughs> ha, you'll regret it soon. He's the one who should be locked up, not me. How about we lock you up together in the bathroom? I think that's what I should organize. What if he's right? Well, then he'll die, and he's gonna die, you know, handcuffed to the fucking bed. I wonder about that. I mean, it's either a bluff... Oh, oh, he just... He's slowly regaining control over his body. What I said before, it wasn't a lie. Look, if you can kind me, I can cure him before... So wait, what, what, the, what are you saying is in the syringe? Oh, he attacks the brain. You're saying you're the creator of the fucking, like, virus that went everywhere? everywhere? Karina, I understand your stance, but I don't think it'd be wise to ignore this threat. I agree. What do you want me to do, then? Let's lock them both in the bathroom. Let's say there's the slightest bit of truth in what he's saying. Do you really believe he has a cure for it? I do not. Let's take a vote to decide what we should do with the doctor. We're all in this together. Okay. I'd say lock them both in the bathroom. Well, if we do that, they'd probably escape through the vents. I think that's going to be maybe one of the options. You know my stance, uh, he's probably lying. Don't let him control your fear. I think we should untie him. Well, I don't agree with his behavior. Judging from his credential, he's a doctor of some sort. So there's a possibility of him knowing what's going on better than any of us here. Even if he isn't telling the truth, he does not pose a threat to us any- What the fuck? Fuck that! He's now disarmed, and he won't be able to make it to the door with you there keeping watch. What do you think, Maria? Ah, uh, I don't like him, but if we can prevent a tragedy, I'd rather not risk it. I wouldn't want being locked in the same room with one of them. You two saw what they could do to us. I vote to release him, but maybe only until we know it's safe. Sorry. Nico, I don't want to pressure you, but this really comes down to you. Mm. Mm. Hurry! Ah, oh, great, only two options, huh? Okay, here's my here's my thoughts. The doctor's probably fucking responsible. If he has something that can actually cause the virus, and for him to turn of what's in the contents of it, then I'm, I'm going to assume it's going to be re like Resident Evil, you know, like the scientist he has, he's been making it, he's the one behind it, so he's pretty much guilty at the get-go. But what research he has to do is either to actually make a cure or actual work to do, but the chances of him surviving and going out and just, you know, freely doing as he pleases, I, I don't know. But the question is, why is he cock-blocking us from the information other than just plot device? Because... He could just simply say, oh yeah, I'm the one responsible, but you know, I have a cure, I want to try to finish it, if you guys, you know, help me out, we can go to my lab, we can make the cure, and instead he's acting like some kind of, uh, you know, self-righteous, I'm above thou, I'm up here, you all down here, you're worthless compared to me, kind of, you know, smug ass narcissistic doctor, you fuck off, someone's saying, you can stay locked because I hate it's, it's, it's like, there's two things. When I say there's two things I hate, I actually mean there's probably 20 things I hate in life. But the two that I hate the most. Arrogant people and ignorant people. And what I hate them the most out of those two is an arrogant person who's ignorant about their own arrogance. <laughs> That's the third that gets a thumbs down. 
Someone who's ignorant of their own arrogance or someone who's ignorant of their own ignorance. I hate that above all of them. And his doctor. You can stay locked and die, even if you are responsible both in the good way and a bad way, and you could make a cure. Just fuck you. You can, you can die. You can stay locked! A draw! We do nothing then. Great! Wait a second, I still haven't voiced mine! <laughs> You're joking, right? In that case, let's count and hit- What? No! We need count his in. He'd like to be saved, don't you think? Only if what you say is true. Quickly, get this off of me! Ah. <laughs> Jorn? Oh, I can still move. Uh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah! Please stop already! Stop twisting his neck off slowly! That's a weird noise. I'm gonna. Uh, should I just go to the bathroom? Do something, he's gonna kill him! Oh, okay, I'll. I'll I guess uh, since I can move. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, she hit him in the back of the head. I can actually move. It's not like a cutscene or anything. That's weird. Like, oh, yeah, I just, uh, I I'm just in for the ride. Why didn't you stop him as soon as he jumped on him? I wasn't expecting it to turn out this way. Ah, uh, what's done is done. Yeah, it can't be helped. But a somewhat sad face. Enough is already. I want to go home. It's like it's like some kind of TV drama because like I'm I'm just like sort of walking around here being like, huh? Ah, no, no. Uh, well, are they both dead or are are are, are, are is it dead? Hello. Is this me talking, or...? No, who's saying hello and it's cold and dark in here? Is it like... My character who's infected and there's like a second being? Or whatever the infection is, is something going on... ...in the mind? What's that noise? Raccoon in the vents? Do you want to be my friend? It's so lonely in here. Who's saying that, goddammit? Yeah, I was receiving this, but like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, man. I don't know what the whole portrait's too. That's just, I don't know, this shit's getting weird. I don't know, the, I'm going to assume the infection is... Maybe not something... Murray, I'm curious what you're holding. I've seen you, you've been staring at it for some time now. Oh, jeez, more, more drama while I say it. I want you to stop. This, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I'm going to assume this card with no inscription or whatever on both sides is strange. Let me quit the game. I want to end the episode. What about it? They said they started talking. I remember seeing it somewhere else before. I'm trying to figure out where. Well, what's that noise? Where did you find it? Lewis was carrying. Who the fuck is Lewis now? Smart card, yeah. Mm hmm. What's that noise here? Oh, it's them talking? No, what is that? It's like a, it's like a window, fingers on a window noise, or like a raccoon noise. I'm so confused. Okay, we're gonna save it now. Hopefully nothing else happens. No, oh, no. Oh. There we go. I'm so fucking confused right now. But I'm going to... Oh, wait, no. Just keep... Keep... Keep pause. I'm going to assume... Maybe the virus outbreak is some kind of... Hmm. It's something like everyone's infected, but you need a reaction for it to begin. Some kind of chemical reaction for it to actually start. Like, it's a docile thing, and it can't start unless something... Like, uh, well, like, he stabbed him with a chemical, and he's saying then it would activate it. So, it's like, everyone is a carrier, and the only way for it is to spread is by, uh, liquid getting in your bloodstream sort of thing. But the liquid, I'm not sure if it's what the doctor had, and he already explained what it is, and that's the reactant to the disease that's already sort of spread, which is spread by the fog. So the fog, everyone's already breathed it, probably, but for those who breathe it, they're fine, until you get an injury, or it gets in your bloodstream, or, you know, the chemical gets in your stream, or something like that. That's my theory. Outside of that, I'm gonna just quit it because <laughs> I'm just gonna quit right here before it gets too fucking long. 
So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. And hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. And until the next one. For me not to play, it just feels wrong. So, yes, I will do that. Apparently I picked up a key. So, that means one of the doors will be unlocked. Hopefully it's the kitchen, so I can make myself a sandwich. Okay.